There's a few common questions when it comes to indoor rowing, and one of them that you'll see quite a lot is about heart rate monitors. Now, I've already made a video about whether to use wrist-based or chest-based transmitters in terms of accuracy and comfort. Spoiler alert, I tend to say that you use a chest transmitter rather than wrist transmitter. So when it comes to looking for one, what do you go for? Well, most people tend to put you down the Polar or Garmin route, mostly because they're the market leaders. But if you look a little bit further, you'll see there's a whole range of cheaper alternatives out there that claim to do pretty much the same job as those market leaders. So when the folks from Power Labs got in touch and sent me their transmitter and said, hey, do you want to do a video and use it and talk about it? I thought, why not? First things first, one of the things you've got to love about it is the branding on it. Ridiculously reliable and accurate. I just kind of hope it is. Now this is the first time I've even opened the box, so I don't even know what's going to be in it. So as always, you get the strap, which we'll undo at another point. That's going to be the sensor, and there's a wee card. Isn't that nice? But free battery, that's nice of them. Now how quick you go through these 2032 batteries, and then the sensor itself, which nothing else it's no thicker than one of the polar or garmin ones so that's a good sign yeah seems to be a relatively good build strap itself feels just like well really again just like all the other ones it's just got a loop you can make it tighter you can make it shorter and this fella clips on the front features wise this transmitter packs in everything that you'd expect it transmits both via ant plus and bluetooth it's comfortable it's lightweight and it's good for most sports, but even though it's water resistant, they do suggest not to use it for swimming. Unlike the Polar and Garmin chest straps, this doesn't have its own app, but much like a Cuckoo, it works with anything. So as long as what you have can receive whatever transmits via Bluetooth or Ant Plus, then this should work with it. So whether it's your Concept 2's PM5, whether it's your computer for Zwift, whether it's anything that you're using, this should work. That said, we need to connect it up and check. Fitting the heart rate strap is easy, especially if you're used to using one of these. You get the little sensor transmitter side and then you get the strap itself. This clips into here, clip, clip, and then you can set it for size using the double loop on one end that you may be used to using on a sports bag and stuff. How tight to set it? Well, make it tight enough that it's not gonna fall down when you're rowing or running, but not so tight that it starts to constrict your breathing. Right, how high to set it? Well, that's sternum height, excuse me for this. Set it round about here. Now, as being one of the guides for rowing is to finish with the handle at sternum height, you might find you start bashing it off the sensor. If that happens and you're worried about it, you can move it to one side and that should alleviate the bashing problem. And it'll also help if you have any kind of transmission signals issues. But anyway, once you've got it in the right place, you're happy, you can start rowing. All right then, so will it connect? Let's try. Press connect, connect heart rate. Will it find me? Instantly, Power Labs 01570. Yep, sees my heart rate, confirm. We're good to go. It seems as though my test heart rate strap is working fine. Seems accurate. And so far, so good. So first row down with the Power Labs heart rate chest strap and all went fine. It didn't glitch at any point, it gave me exactly the readings I would expect, felt comfortable. Didn't actually click the handle off it, which is quite a good sign, it's not protruding too much. So I'd say thumbs up for rowing with the Power Labs heart rate transmitter. Now I finished most of my rows with a six minute cool down run and today what I'll do is I'll connect the Power Labs heart rate transmitter up to my Polar Beat app. Question is, will Polar Beat see it as being it's a different brand? Nope, nope, there we go, it can see it. Fine, great, all right. So let's get started with a bit of jogging. Okay, so I'm not gonna make you watch this entire run, so I've sped this up to 800% so you can see what's going on. You can see the heart rates there, you can see the graph all ticking away quite nicely and there's absolutely no dropouts. Please don't pay too much attention to my pace. I'm not a runner, I'm a rower. <laughs> anyway, so you can see that it's tracing really well. It's got a good accurate heart rate reading. So I'd say there are no issues here and we might as well cut this run short. The most important thing is this stayed where it was meant to be rather than, I mean I've got a bad habit of quite a lot of the chest straps end up around my waist which is quite annoying but this stayed exactly where it's meant to be. So today's tests have been good. Works well on the rowing machine, works well for a run. 
And then what about Zwift? This is notoriously troublesome on a Windows PC where it just didn't see my Polar H7 strap. So let's click on search under heart rate, see what it finds. And look at that, it sees both of them instantly. So it sees the strap as an Ant Plus and it sees it as a Bluetooth. So I can take my pick in case there's any kind of interference. Let's just stick with Bluetooth and then go down to OK. And then just see if it sticks. Yep, there you go. And it sits there quite nicely. Let's go on a little ride. Let's see, should we go around? Let's go around London. Now, hopefully you can see this just fine. Top left hand corner, you can see my metrics while I'm on the bike. And you can see it's reading my heart rate just fine. Now, interestingly, the position where I have this bike set up is notoriously bad in here for Bluetooth interference, so it doesn't register the heart rate right. And that's using the Polar H7 transmitter, but again, using the Power Labs, there's absolutely no problem with this. So, as far as reliability and connectivity for Zwift, again, thumbs up. Okay then, what about my trusty Ski Erg? Is the Power Labs heart rate transmitter going to connect to this? So press the menu to turn on the PM5, then connect, and then connect heart rate. And let's see if it pops up. Ooh, is it going to see it? Is it going to see it? There we go, Power Labs 01570. Press that to connect. It always takes a second for it to establish the connection on the PM5. I've just had a wee bike ride, which is why I'm up at 70, so don't, don't panic. Confirm selection. All right, let's, let's give this a try. Now bear in mind you're meant to be looking at my heart rate changing on the left hand side of the screen rather than judging my dodgy ski erg technique but as you can see the heart rate's reading nice and clear. It seems to work perfectly, matches up just as I had wanted to with my Apple Watch, didn't drop out at any point, still feels nice and comfortable to ski away with this around my chest and it's not not slipping at all. So again, thumbs up for the ski erg too. So I've been using the Power Labs heart rate monitor for over three weeks now, and I've got to say, I really like it. It's very stable, it's very comfortable, and I have absolutely no problems connecting to any of my kit. So as far as I'm concerned, the Polar H7 that I've got is gonna sit in a drawer as my backup, and I'm gonna just use the Power Labs from now on. The only problem I really have with it is the amount of training I've been doing with it has meant that I've lost a little bit of weight, and because I didn't tighten it, it kind of fell down to my stomach. One of the roll along workouts, you'll actually see me kind of how can I up while I'm rowing, but I really like this uh, heart rate monitor. It's cheaper than the alternatives. It works just as well. The only thing really that you're missing is maybe its own app. And I'm a little bit mm, about the fact you can't wear it for swimming, but if you're just using it for running or for rowing or for ski erg or for uh, Zwift or whatever, and you're not wanting to lay out the money for the Polar or Garmin alternatives, then when you're looking for the cheaper ones, if you see the Power Labs heart rate transmitter, then I do recommend just taking a closer look at that one, all right? Thank you so much for watching this video. Do make sure and check out some of the row along workouts that I have on this channel. They're all for free. There is no sudden paywall you hit. You just watch the videos, row along to them, and you get fitter, faster, stronger. What else would you want from that, eh? Thank you so much for watching this one. You have a nice day. Bye-bye.